Hey, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a little bit different, man. A little bit weird compared to our usual ARK adventures. So, as you know, we got the Game of Broodmother fight finally coming up. We've got a good pair of Carnos. We're going to be using those for the boss fight. But we've got our Brittany pair of them. We've got six of those guys already hatched and raised up. We've got our Yudis finally set. So, little one back there is still growing up. Once he's ready, we'll get that one and that one together. Get one more egg. Get it hatched. That'll be the one we're riding into the boss fight. Gotta get saddles made. I'm wanting to do a lot of stuff today that I usually do off camera. A lot of people ask how I get ready for boss fights and things like that. So, I think I'll go ahead, do it on camera. We need to do a little bit of resource harvesting as well. So, we talked about it a little bit in the last video. We've got three different obelisks, right? You got the green one that has a brood mother. We've got up in the blue, or not the blue, but up in the uh, cold area, we have the blue one, and that is the Megapithecus. And then out in the coast on that side, we've got the red one for the dragon. So, seeing that we have no cryopods and stuff like that for taking our teams to the arenas, very simple. We've got to walk all of our dinos there, kind of like the old school way. It's kind of fun, but if we have our base here and we have to go to the other side of the map where the blue one is, it's kind of difficult, man. It's a long trek for all your dinos. So, we're going to have bases set up at each one and we'll do all of our boss breeding there. So, even though we're doing all the way up through Alpha on all the bosses, we're going to be using different creatures. I don't want to use Carnos for every single one of the boss fights. Now, we might use those again throughout one of the other ones, but I want to have some room here at base to be able to expand and get our teams kind of set up and have them be safe. So we're setting up some walls. So what I plan on doing is we'll have a little section of wall here. We'll have a dino gate, seeing how we come in and out of this side of the base quite often with the rafts and stuff. And then what I'm thinking is we'll extend out probably along this path here, all the way to the water, have another dino gate here. I do come that direction a lot for my resource harvesting. I go down there to get wood, a lot of metal is right up there on the mountain behind the trees. And then I want to keep all these little trees like this. They look fantastic, man. We'll get rid of the little ones. Keep the big ones. And then this side will be done here. And then on this side over here, probably do the same thing. Kind of cut along the tree border, I'm thinking. We'll just start right here at the corner. And then come out this direction. Again, keeping that tree on the inside. Now, there's a different kind of fence that we're doing. We're not doing the usual ones. With ASA, there's some nice new kind of uh, building we can do with stuff. One of the private servers I play on, there's a guy there that has a fantastic looking wall. Works fairly well, so we're going to use that design. We should be able to put some plant species on top of it as well, just for protection, because we are going to leave the water side open. And it's kind of a problem because, one, I mean, you got raptors down that direction. Don't really wander down here much or swim across, but we do got sarcos. Just on the other side of that mountain there, there's a sarco spawn. They haven't come up here yet, but they have in my other kind of playthroughs and series. You've also, also got the beavers and stuff that I want to keep out of here. So we'll kind of get that set up. Now we do got to run water, which isn't a big deal because, I mean, we're right there at the river. But got to get that set up for all of the uh, plant species we put up on the fence itself. So we might have to do some resource harvesting to grab some stone and stuff like that. I want to get it sorted out in here. So these guys need to be moved up top, kind of out of the way. Might just actually set them right here. And then we need to get the Dodic out. Where is... He's right there. Get him out. Harvest up some stone. We'll probably need to grab some stuff from the dung beetle as well. Dude, he's got so much fertilizer. Holy crap, man. So let's do... This. Extend his range out some. We got plenty of that. I need to check my greenhouse too and see how that stuff's doing. Do we have oil in here? How we do? 167. I'll take that. Put it into the preserving bins. Help our jerky going. There, we need to check our food. Probably have to do some meat runs as well before we start our carno breeding. So we've got six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got six of those guys ready. I mean, technically, we've got seven. This one I like keeping around base for doing some harvesting and kind of cleaning stuff out. So we'll leave him here. We do need to make some saddles, though. Kind of get that sorted out as well. So a lot of little stuff, man. Like I said, normally all this stuff for the boss fight, I do that off camera. But we do it on camera, man. Change it up a little bit. So, let's put our oil into the preserving bins over here. Check on those. We do got some kibble we're making up here soon. Let's put half into you. We're good on spark powder, and then raw meat is fine too. Let's grab this out. Throw it into the refrigerator for safekeeping. Nope, oh, not that. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Half of that back in there. How much is in this one? 161. Let's put some more in here. I like to keep them somewhat the same. I mean, they run out at the same time, you know? Alright, so. 
Let's start off with me showing you the design for the fence we're doing. Hopefully we got enough building parts. If not, I'll make some real quick. I mean, I don't know. I gotta make a bunch anyways, but just for testing. We're gonna need one more of the foundations. We'll grab those. Are these... It's our railings. Grab some of those. Let's make one more foundation real quick. I can kind of show you what we're working with today. A little bit of that. Actually, let's go ahead and make up just all four. That'll be fine. So, the guy that does this on the server that I play on, it kind of... Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be weird whenever I do it, because he puts down foundations and makes his whole base flat. I've done that before, too, in the past, but we're doing ours along the terrain. So it's not gonna be exactly flat, so I'm not too sure how it's gonna look. It should still be fine. We'll, uh, we'll see, though. So we'll do it out here where it's kind of, uh, easy to see without the grass at first. So, it's gonna consist of foundations. So they have to be built on foundations just to make it somewhat flat. And then what you do... ...is you put one of these. You do these on every other one. Then you take your walls, change them to fence, and so you can do different angles with them and stuff, right? It's kind of neat, man. I kind of like it. You get a slope down like that. Actually, I need to space that out some more, I think. Let me put one down there. One here. One down there. If we space it out a little bit more, I got my, uh, my counts off on that. Put you right there. Do some more of those. Now we can actually, you know what? I did have it in the right spot the first time. Let's pick you back up. They should kind of connect in the middle. Yep, there we go. Kind of goes like that. It's kind of a neat design, man. I really liked it whenever I saw it. Now we could do another pillar right here in the middle. We might do that. And I was thinking whenever we go to do our plant species, we might set it up high on two like that. That way it has a good range and nothing in the way, but that'll keep everything from UDs out, which, I mean, there's no UDs around here, but it also keep Rex and stuff out that can't step up that high. So it's kind of neat, man. I like the design a lot. And like I said, it's going to be kind of weird doing it on the terrain because it's not going to be exactly flat. So hopefully it'll work out. Can you not connect? There we go. Properly, please. And thank you. It's gonna be a pain trying to get some of these lined up. Is that lower? Oh, same height. Now there's another way we could do it too. They've got the steeper angle as you kind of saw there too. We can get it sorted out. You can see it on this side. It's not gonna do it. Anyways, there's a steeper angle you can do these at. And it'll actually come down just to one foundation. But it gets kind of weird because it kind of sets down in the foundation right here. Super hard to do. But that's the, uh, that's the, the design we'll go with. Kind of looks neat, man. I like how you can change the the railings around. So, we're going to have to get probably a lot of stone and maybe some wood. A little bit more wood. So, you guys left my comments, too. I was doing something different with the... Or not different, but wrong with the mammoth for the harvesting. Junior, look. Look, buddy, look. I walk up and you leave me a treat. Not exactly what I wanted. So, I was trying to do that for harvesting the wood and stuff. You don't get very much. You get like, where's it at? We get 12 wood. I totally forgot he's got a stomp. Let's go over here. I don't want to hit the big tree. Let's uh, <laughs> go to the ones over here. But you can do his regular stomp. You hit the uh, space bar. And there we go. There's all the wood, man. That's almost 100 wood versus like 12. So a little bit different. I knew there was a way to do it to where he would uh, collect quite a bit of wood because that's one of the main things they do, right? He's got the wood reduction plus the... Uh, Get your carry weight and stuff, so let's put this into weight. Speaking of that, but we'll use him to harvest up some wood. He's got a little bit better on the carry weight, and I think the reduction versus a fairy. The fairy, man, you do like two swipes with his claws, and he's like overweight, can't move. So definitely be easy doing that. We'll probably clean out the stones around here with the dodic, and then just right across there is where I get a lot of that from. So we're not having to go far for the resources. Plus, we have the Argentavis, if anything. So, let's start off with getting some meat. We'll throw it into the preserving bin, or the, uh, the feed trough. 
and start hatching up the eggs. The main thing is getting all the carnos ready. It's gonna be overweight. We got a thousand there. Actually, need to go harvest some more. Holy crap, dude. Getting kind of shy on a lot of our stuff. Haven't been doing a lot of harvesting off camera. Been kind of uh, busy and stuff, right? How far along are you? 56%. Let's put these in here. We might have some in the refrigerator over here. I want to keep some because we're going to need it for when they hatch. Set you guys up here. Put you right there. There we go. Put you right here. I was going to go ahead and do breeding with these guys to have a extra otter or two in case ours dies. But not having the, uh, the cryopods, it kind of makes it... Kind of a pain having all those extra teams around. Can you please just land right next to your friend here? Why don't you on the side, buddy? On the side. Tell you what, I thought we got the, we got the wall. There we go. That kind of works, man. That works. Let's get Junior down. While we're up here, we're for sure gonna need some stone. I know it. You got some levels. Let's do all into weight. Let's grab some eggs. Let's just do, let's do two at a time, because what's going to happen is if I can get three or four eggs, throw them out, do them all at once, we're going to have like twins and triplets, and it's going to be a very bad situation. And we've got plenty of meat in there too, so we might be okay. Now I have learned that if you come too far this way, <laughs> you over and just pick it right back up. It was picking up the UD eggs when I was doing a lot of that off camera. Whenever I'd set them right here, they were just big enough for him to be in range. Let's do... I forgot, let's throw them this way so they're actually facing that direction. That'd be good on those two. We'll grab a couple more. I heard you. So all we're looking for is some mutations, possibly, if they're going to have them. All their stats should be good, so we don't have to worry about that too much. And I'm not sure how the mutations work with ASA. It was supposed to be different than ASE. I'm not exactly sure how that kind of works, but... We'll have to see. Maybe it's the amount of mutations you can get. Alright. Follow me, guys. Please do not get stuck on the door. I might have to remove the pillars and stuff so they actually come through. Come this way, come this way. For some reason, I noticed with the pillars, they think it's a closed door and they won't follow you out sometimes. Not sure what's up with that, but it's fine, dude. Let's bring you guys all the way outside. Watch the UD, please. Watch the UD. You getting stuck? See, it's like if you get off the foundation, they totally lose track of where you're at. I don't know, man. That new Dino Pathfinding. They gotta refine some of it. It's gotta be, uh... It's gotta be tweaked a little bit. Come this way. I want you guys down here on the ground, please. Yeah, see, they try to find where you're at. There we go, there we go. We got one smart one out of the bunch. Where's your brother or sister? Junior! It's a... It's a railing. I wish you could pick up the little ones. I'm just saying, that'd be kind of cool if you could pick them up and move them where you want before they get too big. You see the turtles, dude. The turtles are no joke, man. It's one reason, the main reason I want the walls up. Now they're going to come in through the water too, they usually come from that direction. So I don't know man, it's a, <laughs> it's a constant battle off camera fight with the turtles. Alright, so there's those guys, they should be on the feeding trough here before too long. Let's grab some eggs, get a couple more. And let's go ahead and move you out of the doorway, buddy. Bring you over here. We actually got one more of the female Carnos we might be able to use for the boss fight because I'm wanting to kind of tone down on how many creatures I have here at base. And you're on a fast, or not fast, but a close follow. Let's change that. Is normal medium? I think so. So, we're looking at 52 and 402. 52, 402. Oh, those are imprinted, that's why. So these guys are good. This one, we can take outside as well. 
and use that for him. So we got six, seven, eight. This will make nine here that we got. Bring it outside, bring it outside. Don't worry, we'll have a fence up soon. It's kind of part of the thing for today. All right, leave you there. So what was that, nine? Do all three of these, that'll be 12. We gotta get 19 of them today. It's a lot, dude, it's a lot. Alright, so we're starting to do some imprints. And I'm just saying, man, it is super weird whenever a uh, meat eater wants berries. It's not something that should be a thing. I'm just saying, dude. When the Cardinals want some berries. Now, if we get one that wants some weird kibble, we'll go ahead and just get rid of that one. Was it you? It wasn't. Was it you? It wasn't. Who was it? You. There we go. So we got, what, two minutes? Yeah, about a minute and a half on this. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's super weird. When they want the, uh, they want the berries and stuff. Alright, let's leave those in there. That'll be fine. This back down here. Dude, we're going through water like crazy, man. Holy crap, dude. Not sure why. Let's go ahead and start collecting a little bit of this. I should take the cat out and get some more meat, though. The cat or the carno? Should probably take the cat. He gets more of the hide and stuff. Now, we need to unlock the stuff for saddles, too, because I think the one that we had over here was a looted saddle. I don't think we made any of the carno ones yet. Have not found any more blueprints. Kind of sucks, man, but it's the way that it goes sometimes. If we get saddles, great. If not, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's going to be a little bit harder on the boss fight, but it is only the Gamma version of the Broodmother, so having the UD in there should be fine. And we're playing on default rates, too, don't forget. Except for a couple things like our harvesting is on two times and then our mating ones. Now, I know a lot of people are asking for my settings that I have for getting the one imprint and stuff like that. I'll post them here soon. I need to make a short video. Showing all the settings, and there's one more I and I edit to make the one imprint possible. So I'll have all that soon. I know, I know. Everybody wants the settings and stuff, and I'll uh, <laughs> I'll try to get a video made. It's not too much to do. It's just uh, I need to go through and, sh and show all my settings and stuff. Yeah, got another berry eater over here. Going to walk. That should be instant. Yep. I like how you can pre-walk them. It's kind of weird, but you can pre-walk them. Guys, guys, look. Back up, man. You can kind of pre-walk them, though, and then whenever they want the imprint for a walk, it's, like, instantly done. I like it. So, that's going to be... It's one of the new berries, right? Is that the purple one? Take a look and see real quick. Got about a second half of the stone. That might be fine. I don't want to overstock us on it. Not there. Actually, why are there berries in here? I mean, that's... That and that. Those shouldn't be there. It's from the uh, loot drop runs that I do. Yep, it's these things. Let's just take a couple. Let's make... or take 10. Not gonna make 10, we're gonna take 10. And that should be fine there. That's gonna give us, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... It's like 13 we've got. Oh, last slot, totally forgot. There we go, man, there we go. 100% imprint on all those guys, I like it. And then how is the UD doing? Take it forever. Let's check the range on our feed trough. It should be fine. Still have food in there. Let's show the range. Oh, it's already up all the way. So literally, right where this one is, that one's gonna be... That's the full-grown one, so that one's fine. So right where they're at. Hmm. I might need to put a feeding trough out here, too. So that's something I have to watch out whenever we start putting our dinos out here for the boss fights and storing them. Gonna have to set up some feeding areas as well. Let's turn the range off on this. And Junior, we need to move you. You're kind of in the way. Let's put you on this side. Turn the tails in. I'm stuck inside. Yep. A little bit awkward. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. All right. So we're kind of set there. I don't want to put too many of these guys out just for the feed trough reasons. So let's start on making stuff for the, uh, the fence. It's kind of a huge thing is getting the fence set up today. Hoping we got enough stuff. We should. We should. And I was thinking with this one, right, where we do it in the middle, the ones that we don't have for the plant species, we should be able to kind of set the pillars down in, right? Oh, you can't. 
Is that only on the ground you can sink them down in? Like here, right? You can hold down and get the option to change it. But you don't get that option on the actual... Foundations. Hmm! I don't know if I like that. We could always do one more high. Like that? Let's, uh, pick up some of these real quick. A little bit of testing, that way I'll make sure that I make all the, uh, the parts that we need, not too many. If we do it one more high... We could do it like that. And the fence will be a little bit taller, too. We don't really need it taller, but it won't look as weird as... Just having those kind of go down to nothing. That kind of looks weird being up that high, though. I think we'll stick with the original plan. And just put it too high where we want the plant species. Probably going to be just the ends, because it got such a long range. That'll work, man. That'll work. Let's pick these up. I need to bring the bird down and load it up with everything. It's so nice we don't pick up the foundation and it kind of picks everything else up too. Fantastic. Ah, oh, that saves so much, dude. That was the main reason for having the gun in for the S plus one. Was picking up all the stuff whenever you were trying to move. I still always look for my ladder right there. Are you empty? You're not. Holy crap, you got a bunch of stuff. Alright, well, let's do this. Let's, uh... Bring it down here. <laughs> that was from our UD team run. I've been slacking, dude. I've been slacking. I've been busy. Haven't had a chance to uh, fully empty everybody out and stuff. Let me clean all this out. I'm going to make up quite a few more of the foundations. I'm guessing maybe 20, 30. Let's make up 30 foundations. That might be enough. And then a ton of the railings. And then probably only about 40 or so of the pillars. That should be fine, I'm thinking. Need to make sure to keep checking on the little ones for our food and stuff in there, too. Alright, so we got enough to get started. Before I forget, check on the berry. Haven't given him any food. He might be alright. Oh, we're fine. Oh, he's fine, dude. Let's put this into... I think damage I was doing for him. Remember, I was doing the harvesting for the biotoxin and stuff. Need to get some more of that here before too long. Alright, so... The Carno should be ready. Let's start off with the... I guess a fence on this side might be a little bit easier. Just because it's more flat, we'll kind of see how it works out. Now, with our terrain being all weird, we'll have to do these in patches of three if we can. It's kind of one of the uh, key things, right? That way, at least one set of the foundation should be good. Let's drop off some of this weight, man. we got so much extra weight. Feed trough is empty. Okay. That's a thing. A little bit of food for me as well. We'll move these guys around here in a minute and get a couple more eggs going. So we need to turn clipping off. Can we not... Can we not not clip? Might have to start it over here. Let's kind of go with... I guess that height will be fine. Right there. That works out, and that'll end right here at that pillar. I like it, man. Perfect placement. How far can we go like this, though, is the thing. It will need a drop down. Let's grab some pillars. And then we'll... you we want to end it like this, or end it coming down? Let's see how that looks. It's going to kind of clip into the inside, but, I mean, that's kind of fine. We don't need that many. Drop some of these. So much weight, dude. I really want to get my weight up. Let's do... We're done with those for the moment. Done with some of those. That'll work. Let's go to the back side over here. Yeah, see, there's that steeper angle I was talking about. Those look kind of cool. Whenever it clips like that. I oh, mean, I really want to do the steep angle. If I can get it started... It should be fine. Just getting it started at that steeper angle, you know? Maybe it needs the one pillar there, or the one railing there to start it? Yeah, see, then it gets super weird down here trying to get it to place the next one down below it. Hmm. 
No, nope, not you. I want the, uh, I want this. Wait. There we go. Let's do that, man. That's the way that the guy on the server has it. Looks so much better having them super steep. And then it should all be contained in one foundation for each one. I think. It's been a long time since I saw it. Started off like that. Just to get the other angle. Oh, that's what it is. If you clip the bottom of... The other railing, it'll kind of clip in or just right. There we go, man. There we go. That's nice. I like it. Let's get some more of the pillars out. See, that's one... That's one whole foundation there. Right? Oh, still one and a half. So we'll need one there. And then one there. And that should get this one kind of sorted out for the moment. Alright, let me get all these set up and we'll see how it looks. So I went ahead and modified it a little bit, added in a pillar in the middle, and then added in a cross piece along the top. Looks not too bad. I like it, man. I like it. Better than a regular fence. Ah, dude. Fantastic, man. So, got the rain kind of starting, too. It is the island. Why would there not be rain? I thought about doing regular pillars along the top there, sideways, but I think the railings look a little bit better. That's the other option, too, is we could leave that empty without the pillar in the middle, but I think it looks better. Now, creatures can't get through, even with this gone. Little stuff still gets stuck. I mean, we get stuck there, too, but I think it looks a little bit better with a pillar in the middle. Nice design, man. I like it. Now, if we kind of did it like he did, where the whole base is flat, it'd look a lot better, but we need to, uh, need to work on this right here. So let's grab a couple foundations. See how that looks with it kind of dropping off there. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. Let's see how it looks on the inside as well. Bath day, guys. It is definitely bath day. It's only got the top one barely sticking through. So that's not bad at all. Yep, the tails, dude. The tails, man. Holy crap, dude. Alright, so let's get these guys out of the way real quick. Are you ready? Oh, you are. Oh, fantastic. Let's do everybody on passive. Dude, if a turtle came over here, it would be horrible. Everybody would go for it once the turret started up. Enable mating. So they're doing their thing. We should get an egg here soon. Let's grab this saddle from this one. Again, I want to keep that one separate just because it's not a boss fighting one. I mean, it could be, but I've got to kind of have them set for doing our harvesting and stuff. Where do I want to put these guys at? I guess right over here. Let's grab the stuff from you. Can definitely use the meat in the feed trough. We'll just start lining these guys up right here. Why is there a Dimorphodon over here? Yup. Bad day for you. Just saying. Just saying. I forgot the saddle, dude. These things are so loud. Super noisy for sure. But that'll at least keep them out of the way, and then we should have enough room to still build our fence that's going on this side of that tree. That tree might be in the way, but it'll be alright. We'll work around it, man. I definitely want to keep the nice looking trees. Now, one thing I was kind of hoping they were going to do with ASA, which they didn't, was make it so you could actually plant those and have them around the map. Oh, it'd be fantastic, man. Be able to actually set up your base and stuff with the, uh, the good-looking trees. Because, I mean, let's be honest, dude. Eventually, one of these are going to get knocked down. <laughs> the refertilizer does not always work either, bringing them back if you have structures, like, super close. So we'll kind of, uh, kind of see how that works out. Super nervous whenever I start building closer to it. I do want to expand that base some still. It's still on the list of things that I want to do. Alright, so we do got a UD egg ready. I've almost got most of these guys moved out. So a lot of people ask how I get levels into my dinos when I'm trying to get them ready for a boss fight. Now, I don't have time to take all these guys out every time, level them up, and have them ready for the boss fight. I use console commands to give them around 75 levels. 74-ish, something like that. So there's a couple ways to do that, and the one that I use, it gives it to the dino itself and not to me. So the first way to do it is if you're sitting on any dino and you use a console command of add experience, it'll give it to your dino, but it also gives it to you. So we don't like to do that. We just want the dinos to have extra experience, not us. So the other command is you get to a dino, right? You got to look at them, open your console, and do add experience to target. It's right there. And then you do 100,000. 
space zero, space zero. And that'll give them... 78 levels, okay, so got a couple more than I usually give them. But that'll add experience to your dino that you're looking at, and not to yourself. We want to keep it somewhat fair, right? I don't want to put experience on my character that I haven't earned. Everything that I have is from harvesting, or teaming, or building, stuff like that. But that's what I do. I go through each one of these, add experience to them. And I don't max them out on their levels, I just give them a good amount to where it's it's somewhat fair, right? It's only a time sink, right? Going out and harvesting and, and trying to level these guys up one by one is only a time sink. If I gave points to myself, it's not a time sink, you know, doing that. It's actually, to me, that's kind of cheating, giving it to yourself, because now you're uh, you're speeding up your progress and stuff. It, it's nothing for the dinos, right? It's just a, uh, again, thing for recording to uh, get them all done in a timely manner. How many eggs have we got? Holy crap, dude. I mean, we need them. Let's uh, turn this off, though. We only need to hatch one. We'll save the others for kibble. Now, once I get stuff sorted out, we're going to have the UDs in here as well today, and then that way they're in range of the Orvoraptor. He'll pick up the eggs, he'll boost the speed up. We need a lot of these for doing our kibble. Let's drop one of these. Hopefully it's not too close. <laughs> I don't want the Orvoraptor picking it up and stuff. And then we got a little bit of meat on us. Let's drop the rest of this into the feed trough. So I'll leave that, I'll leave the code in the description box down below about how to add experience to your dinos, in case you're wondering. Makes life a little bit easier for doing boss fights. Let's eat some of these eggs. Not gonna need the Cardo eggs for anything. Alright, so, let's, while we're waiting for that egg. I know, we gotta work on the wall too. I'm trying to, uh, try to multitask. It doesn't happen often with me. Doesn't re really go too well, usually. Let's put you over here. Try not to get stuck in the ceiling. And I want to move the UDs inside here. Now they don't have to be inside, it just was something I was kind of wanting to do. Just to make life easier and have them inside for our kibble production. There we go, there we go, man. Nice, dude, nice! You doing alright? You feeling good? You're our boss fighting one, so don't fail me, that's all I'm saying. Let's bring it this way, buddy. Bring it this way. Come out here, Junior. Walk forward. Might need to turn- okay, look. Don't be one of those type. Don't be one of those type. Need to turn him on a lower follow distance. Junior. Out of the air conditioner. Come outside, man. Come outside. It's a nice day out. It just stopped raining. Might be a little muggy out, but it's fine. Yep. This way, this way. Around the feet, buddy. Around the feet. There we go. Obstacle course. Outside here. Get you outside. Let's put you over here by the furnace, man. Don't get in the furnace. You are highly flammable, but we'll put you out next to it. Right over here. There we go, there we go, man. Out of the way. Hang tight there, you're out of the feed trough range. That's fine though, I will give you some extra food. I'm... I'm stuck. I don't want to pick that up. There we go, Junior. <laughs> Buddy, let's not start off like this. Let's try to turn this guy around. If it works, it works. If not, I will set up a small little area outside for the UDs. Not a big deal. I'm hoping, though, to get these guys kind of... Oh, we got the Carnos over there, too. But that should work, man, having both of those guys in here, out of the way. Grab a little bit more food for Junior real quick. Last thing I want is for that guy to starve, you know? Let's close that for the moment. We gotta watch for his imprint coming up soon, too. Two minutes. Alright, let's work on this wall over here. So, what we were trying to do... <laughs> is see how it looks? When we sink this down into the ground a little bit, let's grab the mammoth, we'll grab some more of this wood, get it out of the way. Can definitely use it, need to start making up some more charcoal and stuff for our gunpowder. Then we got so much taming coming up, and now that we have the kibble we'll be making, we'll, uh, we'll tame stuff a lot faster and a lot easier. Wait, where's the... it's behind me, that tree. Here are these last three right here.
There we go, man. There we go. Let's get rid of the berries as well. I don't want to get too close. I'll pick those by hand. So I'm hoping it still clips in, but... Yep, there we go. Just like that. Oh, perfect, man. Perfect. So we want to do three, I think. And then we should just do one more where it sinks down, and that should be fine to go all the way out like this. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, let's see how this looks whenever we drop it down. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. What I'm hoping is that we'll be able to extend the railings down. To connect. So there, we would skip one, we would do one here. Maybe we should go out four. Hmm. Put one there. For some reason, it doesn't clip at that steep angle unless you have one in there already. One there. One here, one there. Let's go to the back side there. Now we are going to have this railing here, so that might look alright. We want to go. We don't want to go too high. It's going to be too weird. Too high is too weird. I want to see if we can actually get it to where the railing. If we can get the pillar to clip into the railing at the top. If so, it won't look as bad. You know what we could always do? Leave it like that, and then we'll put a plant species right there. Right? So what I want to do is put a ceiling on top, drop a plant species, and that might work out. And then we'll just do a railing coming straight across on this one. And then we'll start our next line here. I think it'll be fine. That should be alright. Shouldn't be too weird, right? Kinda, kinda have to work with what we got, right? Check on Junior real quick. Buddy, are you ready for your imprints? Please do not want berries. You're gonna worry me if you do. Oh, go to walk. Should be done. Yep, because we brought him out here. I like it, dude. I like it. And you don't have any mutations, do you? No mutation. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Only mutation we got so far with ASA is, I think it was into weight, right? For one of the creatures. Uh, the Carnos. So we got that. So we're going to need some more of these. That should be enough to get started. I'm not sure if it's going to look weird here or not. So we would skip this one and put one there. I think we need to come out four. And then drop it down. There we go. That should work out there. Let's pick this one up. Now the thing is, if it looks weird on this one too, I don't want to have to do... Plant species on both of these. I mean, we could have two up here, then we shouldn't need them... Um, over here. I'll probably put these to sleep, just leave them there for looks, but not have them actually attack stuff. Right here, the range should go all the way over to that side, and then this one could probably reach all the way out to there. That might work? Let's see how it is. Let's put some more of these railings up. We need a pillar in the middle. It looks cool without the pillar in the middle as well. But, looks better like that. And I can't change the height of this top one, either. Wish you could. And the other thing is, is that gonna be a different height than that one? It is. Ah, dude, it's super weird, man. <laughs> I don't know. Next base we build, we'll definitely make sure it's all flat where the fence is gonna be. If we can, if we can, right? I'm not sure what else to do here, though. If we get rid of this one... We could just remove that top part there. That's an option as well. Then it's just kind of just going down at a slant. I think that looks better. Let's let's do that. It looks a lot better. Remove this other top one. There we go. Finish this off here. 
and then we'll end it into the water, right? We'll have the, uh, the slopes come down like that and just end into the water. So it should be good, man. Good way to cap it off whenever we're done. Go and just, well, I don't want to set them all there at the moment. I need to get some more of the foundations, too. So I'm not too sure how far out the water to go. I'm guessing right to there. It's, uh... It's gonna drop down one more. I didn't expect that. But I don't want stuff to just be able to walk around here. If it's deep enough, it kind of keeps the things that want to walk like raptors out. Usually, I mean, <laughs> for the most part. They're still gonna come through here, but... Let's go ahead and get these set up first. Gonna need to make some more parts for the other one. I thought this was gonna be enough for almost all of the, uh... The walls on both sides, but it's not. It's a lot of the railings for sure. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Definitely worth it. Put you there. I need to put these in the middle for these as well. Before I forget. There we go, man. There we go. Now, I noticed that I should have had these coming down on this side. But it kind of works out with the drop-off, right? Otherwise, it would look kind of weird, I think. I don't know, we'll leave it like it is. It's like a slope all the way down. Kind of like steps down, right? And then right here should be the last one... ...of these. And it should cap off down into the water. It's super weird how you have to put one down for it to clip to the, uh, the extra space, you know? Alright, let's pick these up. Do one more on this side, and that'll be our final cap-off. Not sure how far the railings will extend without foundation supports. However, we will find out. Pick up this last one first. Now you know what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna be coming back through here with the raft, not paying attention, and I'm gonna hit this where it goes down in the water. I always try to cut it super close, you know? Let's, um... Oh, can we not extend it down? Interesting, so you can't go down anymore. It only goes straight up. Hmm! Well, it still kind of caps off in the water, so it looks kind of cool. Ends right there. I like it, man. I like it! Better than the regular old-style way of just doing the regular fences, right? With, uh, ceilings and pillars and walls that I used to do. And one of these. Now, for the plant species, we're still doing a thing to where, probably right here. I think one should be fine. One plant species on the end here. Let's grab some ceilings real quick. In a crop plot, I need to grab some thatch stuff and use it for scaffolding. And we'll set that one up. Buddy, are you okay? You're looking rough. You're out of food! Why are you so hungry? There we go, buddy. There we go. Holy crap, dude. That almost ended terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought he was going to have enough food. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a grown boy. Is he a boy? He's a grown girl, man. If we need to get some more food, let's... Ah, I didn't want you over here because it's going to be in the way. Bring it over here. Put you on the feed trough. Come this way, Junior. We'll leave you right up over here. Right there, man. Right there. You're fine, dude. You're fine. That wall... Ah, oh, dude, it looks fantastic. I know I built it, so... Probably biased, but I think it looks awesome, man. Kind of works out with our building here, right? Now, I do want to build one of these. At least maybe the exact same way at all of our bases. A nice big dino storage. What I think we'll do with the other ones, though, is we'll have a building like this. And then on the back side, we'll have it open. So instead of having a fence for the whole base, we'll probably just have this open into a fenced area. I think. I think. We'll have to see. Each base might be different. It's kind of the goal, right? Let's grab a couple of the ceilings. I have none. Do I have any... Crop plots, large ones. We do, we got one. That's fine. Let's make some stuff for a ceiling or three. Some of you. A little bit of you. Tiny bit of you. What are we missing? Thatch. We got too much of the other stuff. Let's drop off. We don't need that much wood. We'll just do one ceiling for the moment. The railings, dude. The railings. I forgot to scaffolding to be able to put all this up. It's fine. I'll do it off of the Argentavis. So we'll have... Easy. Easy. Have that. We'll have this. 
And we'll have to plant species up there. I like it, man. I like it. Plenty of room for that thing to reach. Now, I'll probably just set that on low. Because the main thing I wanted to take out is any of the sarcos and stuff that come over here. That is the main thing, is the sarcos. That should be fine, man. I might set up another little one. We got that one there. That should be alright, man. It should be good, dude. If anything, we could always set up one right here as well. Just at a little station. Have a little wall of those up around the perimeter. Put them all on low, because I don't want them attacking stuff on that side of the river bank, you know? Hmm. Alright, I gotta make up a ton more of the foundations and stuff. And then we'll go ahead and string that side out. Let's drop off our stuff into here. Gonna need mainly just these and those. I think we're good on the pillars. While we're waiting... Let's grab some more eggs. So we got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. There's one more already grown up, right? Twelve. We're needing nineteen. This will give us fifteen. So we'll do three now, and then we'll do four in a minute. I need to grab some food first. Need to go out and do a run on the cat real quick, too. Drop you here. Give it a couple seconds in between, just in case there's twins or triplets. It'd be nice to get some triplets. That way we can actually... You know what? Let's do this safe. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna totally run out of food, man. Let me go out, get some stuff. I'll use a cat, like I said, just for grabbing hide as well. And get a little bit of meat. There's quite a bit of stuff around here, usually down that direction, so... Alright, give me a minute, man. Give me a minute. Let's do this the proper way. For once in our life. Can't kill dodos still. I mean, you can kill them, you just can't harvest them. Unless they fixed it with the saber. They, uh, their hitbox is too far into the ground once they're dead. Yeah, I got some meat. Cat is almost overweight. And then, got a drop too. Not too much stuff, just some buckets of stem berries, or some... Stimulants, and then narcotics, and artifact pedestal. So that's kind of nice, not having to build another one of those. Let's... give me this. Drop all that in there. That should be good. That should be enough for raising up a couple more of these guys. Put the prime meat in here. Alright, so, eggs. There's a cold wave coming through, too. Wait, is one... I mixed the eggs. I don't know what those two are for. One is a good one, one was one I had set aside for something. I think it was in case that the... one that hatched wasn't a good male. I don't know, I don't want to use them. The two that I dropped out are good though. So drop you. Give it a couple seconds. Drop the other one. Give it a couple seconds. <laughs> then we'll drop the last one. There we go. Alright. No twins on you, that's fine, that's fine. You can't drag meat from your hotbar into their inventory anymore. You used to be able to. Not sure why they changed it or what did change, but it's fine. Oh, we got twins! Fantastic, I don't want to pick up fiber. Alright, let's give you some meats. Give you some meats. Claim you. Alright. Listen, there's a lot of you. If everybody could follow me, in a straight line, that would be fantastic. And they all go... the other direction. I... I thought it was the pillars with this. It's not, though. As you can see, some kind of follow. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Guys. You're not... you're not a Thyla. You should not be climbing. Come on, come on. Shake a bake, man. Shake a bake. Outside before something happens. Keep walking. Watch out for your Uncle Theory. The claws are not... They're not safe, man. They're very, very sharp. Alright, come this way. Come this way. There you go. There you go. Pick up the speed, man. Pick up the speed. Keep walking. There we go. Single file. Outside, guys. Outside. Over here by the... By the furnace. Cold front coming through. Right? It is. 33. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't get cold easy. I'm just saying. Oh wait, actually, you know what? You guys need to be closer over here. Almost forgot. The, uh, feature off range. 
All right, let's separate you guys a little bit. Make it easier for the imprints. Hang tight, hang tight. You're fine, you're fine. Bring you over here a little bit, Junior. There we go, man. There we go. Alright, so everybody should be fine. The tails, dude, the tails. Should have enough meat in here as well. Let's drop that in there. Might have to do another run here. Alright, so give me a few minutes. I'm gonna make up some more stuff for the other side of the wall. It's getting kind of late in the day too, right? Or is it just a cold front making it look, look like that? Nope, late in the day. It is 5 p.m. So let me get this stuff made. We'll try to get the other foundations at least set. I want to see how that kind of works. It went fairly well over there. So we'll do the same thing. I need to make two of the dino gateways, though. One for right here, one for down there, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll step it down all the way. Why are you running over there? I mean, it's an Orbiter Raptor. They always run. All right, so I got the foundations made. The railings are making. We should have... We got two of the stone gateways. I don't want to use the behemoth ones. I just want the regular ones. Right? We can always change it out to behemoth later. If I have big stuff like, for some reason, Giga's over here or Rex, I mean, I can always just walk them across the water. That'll work out. The The other gates are just so big, dude. I don't want to have them around here. Do I have any doors for them? That's for the wood ones. We can make some. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and... What do we need for it? We even have it unlocked. That's Smithy? It's not. Gates. There we go. Two of those. That'll work out. Kind of weird. You loot doors are the uh, doorways, but not the actual doors. All right, drop those off. You're still overweight, kind of. It's fine. It's fine. The bird is right here. That's it, right? Wait, where's the... Did I not grab the gates? There we go. <laughs> it happens sometimes, dude. Look, it's been a full day of harvesting and breeding. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, how are you guys? Everybody all right? Raising up good? You gonna want some imprints? Cuddle? I like it. Cuddle? I like it. What do you want? Prime me jerky? You're an expensive one, huh? Look, everybody else wanted cuddles. You have to be different. I think I have some in here. I don't have to grab it out of the refrigerator. Prime meat jerky. I have the regular jerky. And the UD should be good, too. I need to check the feed trough. I mean, all those little ones growing up, I definitely need to stay on top of that. I don't want them to get almost raised and then end up dying. It happens a lot. <laughs> like I said, I do a lot of this off camera, man. There's a reason for it, dude. There's a reason for it. I lose more teams not paying attention. When I'm off camera, I do a ton of harvesting while I'm doing the little ones. It just makes life easier, right? Who wanted the... Who's the expensive one? So, yeah, I usually end up uh, having quite a few die off. We just never talk about that part. All right, so, feed trough. I mean, we're good. That's not too bad. Stack those up. Close this, just for safety. Alright, so, let's try to get this kind of belt. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work with the gateways. I'm hoping to do one set... I was thinking about doing one set of... Railings, right? That would be, what, four foundations or three? What I ultimately want is a gateway to be right here. It's, it's kind of flat, somewhat. So let's do... Let's just start off with the gates. How about that? I don't care what angle the gate's at because we're going that direction regardless when we're done. That's a trike, dude. That's a trike! Okay. That's why I want the walls. Just saying. <laughs> it's a lot safer. Alright, so. Grab a couple of you. We can move the gate over some if we need to. I didn't know if it was going to clip in or not. Now, what I want to do is set it to where... The pillar in the middle will be right next to this. Right? 
We want it right on the side. Third person for this part. If we put you here, and you there, and you there, then we grab some of these. Just leave those. Grab some of those. Not that many. Everything weighs so much. So we do two of those. Will these clip in weird? They are going to stick through. Okay, that's what I was worried about. The other option is... Move it over some. Right? Kind of like right here. Then we can have that, and that kind of provides our our border so nothing can get through there. The gate is still fully open, right? We're not sticking on the inside of that. And place these back. We'll do this. We will do... That. 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 I'll pick these back up. Do our middle piece. Do our top cap. Let's just see what it looks like using these instead on the top. Just curious. Oh, it's gonna look kind of weird, right? I mean, that looks cool. It's a lot higher up, but... The end piece, you gotta have that little... little stone missing. The railings go all the way to the edge, right? Wait, almost. Yeah, because it kind of clip into it, right? That looks a lot better. The railings look a ton better. But that works there. Then we have our full gate. Now, if we wanted to, we could actually pick this up, move it over just a tiny bit to fill in that gap. I'm not worried about it. It looks fine like it is. And then, as for this, let's grab the mammoth. Well, let's grab the theory. I don't know. I feel weird trying to grab stuff with... Ah, we'll use a mammoth. The theory is kind of blocked in. You got to be right on top of the tree to knock it down with his stomp. Can he fit through a gateway? He can't. He's too big. Hmm. Interesting. Like I said, we can always go across the water. Not that big of a deal. I do not want to hit down our good tree. Kind of clear this out. The uh, plant species will be working overtime over here for sure. So that'll work. Let's get the bushes out of the way as well. This last tree. Please do not knock down my good one. I would be super sad if it knocked it down. Alright. Back out of the way with you. Let's grab some foundations, drop all this off. I kind of overmade the foundations, but it's fine because we'll use them anyways once we go to our new base build. We'll be doing a lot of stone on that, I think. So let's set the bird where we're going to want to aim for. Want it to be in between the trees, so right here. It should be good. That way our fence is not kind of clipping into the tree. It did over there a little bit, but I mean, it's fine. It's not always going to be perfect. So for this... I think I like right here. I want to kind of do the same thing where it's clipped in, but we got to watch out because it's going to be narrower, right? Let's move it a little bit. Now we could change the angle of the doorway as well. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, I can't go all the way in like that. Hmm. Let's try it right there. There we go. That's going down towards the uh, Argentavis. 
So let's pick you up. Let's rotate you over a little bit. Turn off clipping. Might just do this, like, right here. I don't know. I have to figure out something with that gap. We can't put any pillars there, I don't think. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Not a big deal. Main thing is having the foundation go in the proper direction. I think, like, right here. That'll work. We're going with it. I'm not moving it again. It's fine. It's fine. And I'll work on the doorway afterwards, too. So. Should we set these down as far as we can? I didn't think about that. Give me a minute. Let me figure this out. I think I want to try to put this where it was. But sink it down in. I'm not sure if I can do that while I'm standing on it. Oh, you can. I mean, we can go as far as we can with it at this height, you know? I don't want to have too many drop-downs. We're at the point where it's forcing you to. Let's count this out with our pillars and see how that's going to work out. But well, they're all in the Argentavis. We can move him now, since we got our placeholder sets. We might be able to do this whole thing with just one drop-down. Now, over there, I didn't think about dropping the... The pillars, or not the pillars, but the foundations down in. Probably could have got away with just one drop off there. Instead of the three. Alright, so we're setting one here for sure. The other option right here, before we start that side, is we could do this opposite. Instead of having it this way. Try something real quick. A little bit of science. This should pick up all of them now. It did. We can do it backwards. Put this one here. And then put these... Like that? It's gonna be a weird gap. We can't put a pillar there. It's gonna be the exact same thing, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. That'll be fine. So every other one. Oh, that's perfect. Then it'll end here, and that'll be our drop down for the next set. Let's go ahead and set that down and see if it's going to be a single drop or a double drop we need. So you can't place it down in any further. So that'll come down. We'll have our one here, that one. Our one there and drop down again. And don't forget we are having a gate here too, so we could... Do the gate right here, and then our final drop will be right at the water level. That'll work out. Let's grab the gate real quick. We'll put this like right here. It's going to be up off the ground. Not a big deal. We could always put some foundations under it, right? We have to do that again. So that's going to be a pillar there. That'll work out. And then one more step down there. Ooh, a little bit of a lag spike. I need to move that with the dodo. Okay, give me a minute. Let me get these all set up. I'll go ahead and build the wall the exact same way. And we'll see how it looks and see how the drop downs are. See if I got these spaced out right. This should be good, though. All right, it is the next morning. Got stuff kind of sorted out. Played with the, uh... The corner pieces some. So this, it was, it was causing issues because it was going at an angle right there. So I went ahead and straightened it out and made it a little bit easier to kind of get this sorted out. So the gate is almost perfect. Nobody should trip over that little piece right there. I'm sure everybody in the world probably will. But then I'll show you at the other end what I ended up doing. Let me get this finished right here. It looks a lot better. It kind of caps off right into the side of the, the gate itself. One more there. Finish this other side over here. 
And we need to hatch up those last couple eggs real quick. I'm guessing maybe one more... ...set here, huh? If we do it without putting down the pillar? I don't think the pillar will go into the side there. It won't. Hmm! It's gonna be kind of awkward. Wait, can I...? I should be able to extend up off of... ...that one. Yep, there we go. It's a wrong angle, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be alright. It's off to the side, man. You can't really tell if you're not looking at it. So, that's set there. Let's grab our door. Put it on here. So that side's good there. We'll do... Probably one of the plant species right there. So let's go ahead and set this up. But do we want it there? Or over here? Do one on each side. By the gateways. Do the same thing down at the other end, too. So down here is kind of the same. That's going to be our step off right there to kind of cap that in. And then this side kind of stepped down all right, too. So that's a very small gap there. Nothing could make it through, but it's up on the foundations anyways, right? I might have to make a couple more of these. I'm not going to have quite enough, but it's kind of set. I'm kind of worried about how it's going to end off down here. It's still kind of shallow. Stuff could walk around, but we're going to have two sets of the plant species. Probably one on this one, and then one... Probably right here, too. So two there. That should be fine for keeping everything out on that side. And then just have to worry about the turtles. Again, I might set up one or two of the plant species right here. Put them on low range. And let them do their thing. And turn off the ones at the base. That way, if they're attacking stuff. Like from here over to there. I don't have to hear it when I'm at base. It is so loud, dude. Oh, it is so loud with those things. When they start attacking the turtles. So one thing I was having problems with too was whenever you set the foundations very far down in the ground, mainly up there, it is super hard to clip this last piece on right there. You almost have to be laying on the ground to be able to get that clip point. So that's something to keep an eye on too if you're putting these all the way down in the ground and not been able to get down to uh, reach the clip points. Alright, so just finishing this up. So that's done there. Let's put down our pillars in the middle. Had to make up some more of the railings, dude. We ran out. One right there, and I think we're doing that side there. So I need to make up four of the ceilings, and then four more of the large crop plots, and then all we have to do is sort out our water, and that's kind of set, man. So, I need to go up there and turn on the range. This one should be in range of that tank up there. And then, if anything, I could always put a water tank right over here in the corner to extend it so we actually reach that one and this one. And then over here, I just need an intake, and that should reach this one and that one. And an intake on that side there. I need to get some more food for myself, too. We should have. I was going to hit that with the bird. I don't want to knock down our tree, man. It'll happen, dude. It'll happen. So for up here, I'm going to need... I'm thinking of plant species right here. Right? I'd want to put it right here. It's kind of hidden by the tree right there. Let's do it right here. I don't know why. That kind of just seems like it would work there for me. And all these we'll put, like I said, we'll leave them here just for looks, but we'll put them on sleep mode. That guy's almost ready, man. Alright, I need to get these Carnos out of the way, too. Where is... Who has a saddle, man? One of you has a saddle. Let's move you out of the way. Put you up here. You'll be fine, dude. You'll be fine. Oh, we got... Actually, I don't need any food. We'll just grab some of these eggs. A little bit of eggs for breakfast, I'm just saying. Perfect way to start the day, even though it is raining outside. That's kind of set there. Alright, let me move uh, these Carnos out of the way. We need to hatch up, I think it's five more. I'll get a second count. Or four more. Three more? Three or four more. And then we'll have all of our Carnos. We need to start making some saddles, too. Let's take a look at that. Do we have it unlocked? We do, we're good. So in here, we're going to need some hide, fiber, and metal. We should be good. We've got quite a bit of metal in there. How many can we make? We can make four. We're missing some fiber. We've got a ton of that. Let's throw some more hide in there, and we should have enough for all of our saddles. 
And let's drop off these building parts. I think we're done with those for right now. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty. We needed what? Um, we had four we made. So 15 more. And that'll be good there. Oh, fantastic, man. I was hoping I wouldn't have to harvest too much stuff to get those guys going. Alright, let me make some ceilings and some large crop plots. I think two intakes will be fine and one more. Actually, do I have a water tank? I think I looted one. I did. So we're good on that. Oh, we got intakes too. Oh, fantastic. Where are they at? Let's just take three of those will be fine. And that should sort out all of our water issues. The only thing is a crop plot, dude. These things are super expensive, man. Almost out of stone. Do we have any more in... Oh, we got some in Junior. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so five of these, five of those, and then the water stuff. And that should be good. Now, I'm hoping that I can reach up there to fill them up with fertilizer. Only have to do it once, I think. And then we can always build scaffolding to fill it up again a second time. Drop you there. And you there. Let's go ahead and put the crop plots on top. Actually, you know what? We might be able to put a ladder on the side. Where did that'll work? A rope ladder? To be able to climb up there? Oh, that'll be fantastic if we can. Let me, uh... Put out these ceilings first for weight purposes. We're getting kind of, uh... <laughs> kind of overweight on stuff. And we'll do the water, we'll do the... Ladders last. And if anything, I gotta always put them... Up there with a the bird, too. So, for our water... Gonna drop you right there. Is that reach? Perfect. So that kind of sorts out those two. And then let's check this one up here. I think the water tank comes to the side. If it does, that'll work. Where's the bird? Over here. If the water goes to the edge. I can set up one more tank, and that'll reach out. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. Really hope. Land you there. Let's see how this is going to work. Might need to set up two tanks. Actually, I'm going to put the one right here on the... The cliff. So those little blue arrows show you where there's other taps nearby. It's kind of neat. That way you know which direction your water is coming from. So there's that one. Let's show your range. I think that's barely inside the radius. Oh, it is. Fantastic, man. So we don't have to worry about anything running out of water. That works. That works. All right, let's turn these off. No! I knew it was going to happen. Junior! <laughs> Buddy, look, man, it's been a long building day. I don't want the... I don't want the fiber, dude. I want to get back up on the bird. I turn the range off on these. And then we'll go ahead and make our ladders. And I'm hoping that'll work. If the ladders will work, it's kind of cool. Versus having to build scaffolding to get up there all the time. Then the ladders are kind of just set... Regardless, I like the way that the, uh... Oh yeah, our other ceiling. I like the way that our... Rope ones look. So that sorts you out. Now... I might need to do the same thing, set another tank right here. Hmm, we do gotta make one. I think that one's gonna be out of range. If we move it over, it'll be fine. But I don't wanna move it. Doesn't mean that we won't, I just means I don't want to. It's gonna be out of range. I think we'll just make another tank and set it down here. It'll be fine. They're not too expensive. We're kind of set to where we have plenty of... ...building parts and stuff now, right? All right, let's leave you. We'll leave that. We don't have another one, do we? We don't. Are you done making saddles? You are. All right, so one of you. And then let's see about some rope ladders. Need some wood, too. So let's just make two. 
See if it'll work. I don't want to waste all the resources if it's not going to work. We'll take the stuff with us, though. So there's that. Can I take the tank as well? We can. I think we just set it down on the, the side it should reach. I'm hoping where that one is. Now, can we put these directly on the ground, or does it have to have a foundation? So something I could do is put this on the inside, in that corner. Let's just leave it right here. It'll be fine. Yep. I'm tired of picking fiber when I just want to get on the bird. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Or when you try to get a drink, and he decides that he wants to pick up stone instead. So there's that. Can we reach that one with just jumping? Oh, you can! So one might work. Can we place this here? Does that not want to clip? Do I have clipping turned off? Maybe? Ah, oh, there we go. So that should work, man. Put one of these on each one. Oh, I like it, dude. It even looks good, too. So it might need two. It's kind of up high. Oh, I can still reach it. Ah, dude. Awesome. All right, so let's get these set out. I will grab our fertilizer. And I'll grab some plant species seeds. We should have enough left. We're getting kind of shy on the uh, plant species. And then we're kind of done for the most part. I need to hatch up those last couple eggs. And then we're kind of set, dude. Ah, oh, dude. Super excited, man. Super excited to have all this done and out of the way. All right, so there's 15 of them. We got one more inside to bring out, and then we're kind of set for there. I like the, uh, I like the wall, man. Plant species are all growing, so we're doing pretty good there. Let's give you your settle back. I got some leftover plant species and fertilizer. Let's go ahead and put that out here. I got a cabinet made for some extra fertilizer. We'll draw you off. Oh, you're full. I mean, it's fine. We'll go ahead and just set it in here for the moment. I need to fill up the crop plots anyways in there, I think. I think, possibly. Alright, let's grab a couple more eggs. Oh, I need one more saddle. So that's the rest of those. We got four. One inside, I'll drag out. We need to put the other UD inside now that the tails are out of the way. Are you ready? Oh, you're done too. Oh, fantastic, man. Alright, so. Let's pull you outside. Put you with everybody else. And I'm hoping that other UD will fit right there now that all the carnal tails are out of the way. If so, that'll be perfect for our egg production. I think that's almost in range of the Orvoraptor. We can always move him over. Speaking of eggs. A little bit of breakfast. A guy is hungry. And we'll grab... All I have is a regular saddle for those guys, too. Kind of sucks, but I mean... Deal with what we have. This guy can go outside now. Seems how we got a gate up. I still want to leave a lot of our creatures inside there, mainly our breeders for the most part. Now we'll have some eggs from the UDs, so we can always move those guys outside if we want to. If something happens and they get killed off, I'll always have a an extra breeding pair, right? Let's leave you right here. Right by the car now. Don't get too close to the flames of the forge, please. You have feathers. You are flammable. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Alright, give me three more eggs. We're gonna get triplets on every single one of these. I know it, dude. I know it. I know, man. Exciting times, dude. Exciting times. Oh, let's grab some meats. Alright, we're good there. We'll drop... You. Give it a second. Drop you. Gotta leave that timer spaced out so that whenever they hatch, man, you kind of, uh... <laughs> you don't kill them off waiting for food, you know? Alright, so that's good there. And you're almost ready. Ah, oh, dude. Excited, man. I'd be so glad to get the Carnals out of here. They'll stay right there, our bringing pair of those for the moment. I'm not sure if we're gonna use those after this boss fight. We'll have to, uh, wait and see. Wait. Look away. And then one more. Nice, dude. Nice! Alright, can you guys come outside without any problems, please? 
It would be greatly appreciated. It's been a very, very long day. Hope you guys are liking the longer episodes, man. Seems that we're doing the every other day schedule now. It kind of works out. I like being able to do more things during the video. And now that they're longer, I don't have to rush to get certain tasks done. I can kind of just play normally, right? So I kind of like it. We'll see how long it lasts, you know. Kind of go from there. But it's, uh, it's definitely nice to film a very long video instead of a bunch of short ones. All right, so... Space you guys out just a little bit. Stay in the feeding trough range, please. Nobody's starving to death. You are the last three that I need. All right, so they're all good. Let's give you a saddle. And we'll give you a saddle. Do you have a mutation? You look different. You don't. Give you the rest of the food and a saddle. Well... You don't need all that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, so those guys are good. Let's get the UDs inside. We are just about done. Give me the saddle, please. Actually, can we back you up anymore? We can, now that the tails are gone. Are you the male or the female? You're the female. And we don't need to get to the uh, the eggs anyways, because the Orva Raptor should be picking them up. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You got some cooked meat. You taking that? Thank you. Don't step on the plant species. They are fragile. At least we're somewhat protected now. I mean, for the most part, we still got the, the water side is open, but... At least the turtles and the trikes will stay away from base. I know it is super hard to see, dude. Alright, so you guys are packed in here. <laughs> pretty tight. But, it definitely works, man. Nice, dude. Nice. Alright, so... You are going to be overweight. Let's... We don't need these. He's on... He's he's wandering around. He's on walkabout mode. Let's let's get rid of these. It's fine. It's fine. We have another Orvoraptor. But... Or not Orvoraptor, but uh, the Carnos. We can always get some more if we want them. I want to catch him before he goes outside. And I need to weigh him down with some stone so he quits walking. Junior. 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 Hang tight, buddy. I got something for you. I tell you what. Come over here some. Over here. Over here. Junior. There we go. This way? Tiny bit. Right there. Right there. You are perfect. Alright, so... He's still not weighed down. Okay, well, that's a thing. Let's do this. If I... Drop these... You have to pick them up. You do! So now he's overweight. As long as I leave all those in there, we don't have to worry about him running around. He is on wandering, so we're getting the bonus here. So these guys, we can turn on to mating. Wait, what is... Turret mode? What is that? Is that for the fear? Hmm. Never saw that in them. Interesting. So anyways, these guys should be running now for our kibble production. This guy will pick them up. We'll be able to take all that and keep it for making our extraordinary kibble that is coming up here soon. Why do we have a saddle left? Did I count wrong? Whenever I was checking all these guys? Give me a minute. Let me double check. We might need to hatch one more egg. I thought we had enough. It was. I needed one more. It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll drop this guy here. Our other ones are ready for an imprint. And then hopefully... I don't know what these other eggs are, man. There's two of them in here. But we'll keep it. One should be good, regardless. And this guy turns out to be not normal. And we'll get him out there, do the imprints on those, and then we'll call it. I'll just have to do the imprint on this one later. All I have left to do for the boss fight is put the levels into those guys, and then let them get healed up. And then we're kind of set. Double check your stats real quick. You are good, okay. Maybe it was a good one anyways. Let's bring you outside, buddy. At least out here. We'll just leave him inside here. Leave you right there. You're alright, you're alright. Alright, so what do we got here for imprints? Going to walk? You're done? Cook me jerky, okay. Another expensive one. High maintenance. Cuddle. I like the cuddles. Why couldn't y'all just be cuddles? Cuddles or walks is what I like. But hey, at least it's not berries, right? Uh, 
All right, one of these. Was it you? It wasn't. Was it you? It wasn't. It was you. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, uh, dude. Well, fantastic day. Very, very long day. Again, the videos are longer right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Ton of progress, though. We've got all the boss fighting dinos ready. We got one more to imprint. I'll take care of that off camera. Not a big deal. He's going to be a couple minutes. All of them have saddles. I need to put their points into them. I'm not sure of the point distribution. I'll talk about that in the next video. Whenever we go to walk them over to the obelisk, that's going to be a trick and a half. But we got our fence set up, man. Again, the fence looks fantastic, man. I like the design a lot. Again, not my design. A guy named Mickey on a private server I play on. It's his design. Looks fantastic. I really like it. I can't wait till we have a nice flat surface at our next base to have all the walls set up the same height. But it worked out with stepping it down with the different terrain. So kind of kind of neat how that works out. Got all of our plant species set up to protect the base. So overall, I like it, man. I like it. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.